Yes, Martin Van Evra. I'm at uh, City Cabanas and there's something that has drawn my attention. You see, in every situation, there's those people will uh, will uh, enjoy. Yes, so in front of me, there's water, purely water, and we have these gates. These are four downs, and you can see this is water. Okay. Yeah, sure, we have flats in Kenya. That one I will not say no to it. I cannot say no. I try telling you no, you are lying. No, I'm telling you the truth. We have. But do you know the cause? Do you know the cause of this water? Why do you have this water here? Do we know the cause? You can see those uh, those uh, vibanda. We call them vibanda. Those one have been put there illegally. Okay. They are not supposed to be there, but uh, because we, the people in our country, we like receiving Kituki Dog, which is Hongo, you pay some people some money here and there, and you are allowed to put your Kibanda there. You put, you put it there, okay? Here, they are cooking, they are doing what? So all the waste that is when they are cooking, they want to throw, it is being thrown direct to the, to the drainage system. So tell me when it rains, what will happen? You can see even that gate is closed, though the vehicle will still pass. So when it rains, when it rains, the water will automatically start there. One thing will happen now, the government will come, uh, the government will come, they want to, they will ask those guys to, to vacate the area. They will be even given notice to vacate that area. Okay, we have the opposition and the government. So when they will be given the notice to vacate the area, the opposition now will come, now start saying that the government is mistreating, is doing what it's doing. But you can see the cause, you can see the effect of those. Uh, it is not only this side, also that side, you can see. And uh, yesterday, I don't think if it rained, you can see very well because of them so that's why we have this water here and the water will be here now uh, there's uh, this story which is going on it was uh, in uh, everyone is crying that uh, the government should do something uh, they should uh, help the people have the money that was given to mitigate the, the floods uh, the government should take care of its people so now it starts making a lot of problems so one of the things if a disaster like this happens uh, you can see the the, 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 the vibanda, how they are when a disaster like this happens you see the government now needs to put in mechanism measures on how to regulate this let's go on example there's an example of uh, the, the informal settlement whereby the government now has directed everyone to move uh this is how many meters 20 meters away from the the, the, the river bank so now when the government said that People are being moved forcibly. Now, everyone now is crying that it is not allowed, the government should not do this. So I want you to tell me, what should the government do? The government should wait for people to die, then it gives them money, for the money that they have put in place for, for medication or what? It is a prevention. You can see this water cannot go because of the drainage system. The drainage system is stuck. And it is stuck because of us. It is not stuck because of someone else. No, we are the cause of this. We are the cause. And you being the cause, let's not be the first one to point fingers. They have asked people now to move. In fact, they are demolishing their houses. And still we are crying. We want change. We should be ready for the change. You should know that we want change. At the same time, you don't want change. Already something, a disaster has happened. Okay, it has happened. Some people have lost their life, which is not supposed to happen. So tell me, what should the government do? Should the government keep on giving the dead? Like already you, people have died. Now, what is the, the, the end game? Because according to how people are speaking is that when people die, 
the government should give them money. Okay, you are already dead, so you want money. So now the government will give money, okay? That is a disaster that has happened. But now it will go to a step where it has to protect its people. Protecting the people is by asking the people to move away from the riverbank, okay? That is what the government will do. It will do that. And I've given you a very good example of this cabanas. What is happening? But when you tell people like that, they will be against what you are saying. They want just that the government should clean. But you can see when they will ask these guys to move to market this area, they are the first one now to start saying that the government is mistreating them, doesn't want anything to do with them. That is not the case. The government already seen a disaster. So for them, they are now preventing it. Further, uh, like they are preventing not to lose more, more people. And this one goes up to that side. It goes down there. Let me check the other side, then I will come back to this side. Yes. So our problem is we want change. And when the change is coming, we also don't want the change. They, have been, they are asking people, don't live 20 meters away from the riverbanks. Because when the riverbanks, those then existing, when they are full, they are overpowered by the flow of water. What will happen is one, uh, it will start overflowing out. When it, over, it overflows out, it will overflow to people's uh, building. Buildings, yes, thus people will, like deaths will be there. There will be ele electrician will happen, people will lose their lives because the river bank or the flow of water has over overflowed out from the, the drainage system. And who are the cause of that one to happen? We the people, we are the cause. But because we don't want to take the responsibility, our main thing, we point the finger at the government. The government is not doing it. Let's give an example of this uh, bridge. You see this guy who's selling here? He's not supposed to be there. When they will ask him to leave, everyone will be like, they are chasing people away from their hustle, their do. No. This is not the way we are supposed to do. We are supposed to be patriotic to our country. Such things should not happen. Should not happen at all. And if it happens when you have been asked to vacate, you just have to vacate without any, any resistance. But our problem comes now. We resist, then the government will use force, whereby you will be shifted forcibly. For that, now it will happen, now we will start crying. We cause problem and uh, we are not ready to face them. This is now what is there. I know some of the people will not agree with the video I'm, I'm recording. Everyone will be like, no, that's not the case. No, that is the case. Tell me this. Tell me what is the cause of this? What is the cause? Why, why is it this water is not moving? It is because we have, uh, we have uh, cabbage there and the drainage system. Cabbage is there. And who did that? Who put the, the waste there? The people who are selling here, down the street vendors who are selling down here. Okay? And if they have been asked to leave, then it's like the government don't want the people to work or the government is mistreating its people. Let's avoid this double speaking. If a disaster has happened, we should be also take responsibility. It is very good if you take responsibility of something that has happened. Rather than blaming everyone, blaming not everyone, they blame the government. You are part of the reason as why this water cannot move out. And if this water is here, right now it rains, meaning the water will go up to that side, the water will enter the Nairobi Expressway. That is a very simple and logical thinking. There's no another way this water will go because this water will be here. For this water to stop, like to go dry, then it needs to stop raining. But we are still experiencing rain each day. 
every time I'm still experiencing rains. Yes. That is what I've just told you. And if you agree with my video, well and good. You disagree with it, I will not force you, but I'll tell you that we are the cause of everything, of everything that is happening. These guys who are selling here, they don't have any proper place they will dispose the waste after. So what will happen, the waste will be disposed into the drainage system. Thus, when it rains, it will be like this. And then the first thing we do, we cry onto the government. The government is not working. The government is not helping its people. What should the government do? Now the government will give a directive that anyone who is selling here should vacate the area in 24 hours. We came back, we turned back and say that, no, the notice is supposed to be oh, three months. Where should we go? What do you want? Like, what, what do you want? Like, what do you want? You want change? You don't want change. So what will happen? Huh? What will happen? Then you should take responsibility. Yes, you see? These guys, I'm telling you, they don't have anywhere they will throw the, 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 the litter after this. So thus, it will be thrown here. It will be thrown here. Then from there, what will happen? Water will not move. Water won't move out. The water will stuck, will be stuck there. Our uh, pride of Africa, Kenya Airways is passing there. So when it rains right now, it rains for two hours. Now tell me where will this water will go? Where will this water go? This water direct will go to express and it will be impossible. Who caused that? We caused that with the people. We are the first people to be blamed. Let's avoid the play games. Let's avoid that double speaking. We should face the problem as we Kenyans. As you cause this, be ready to take responsibility. That is a very short video I was talking about the reason. And I've given you a very good example. Right now, if it rains for two hours, I'm telling you, if you come to City Cabanas, you will not go through. And people will start recording, oh, City Cabanas, it is what, it is what, what and what. But they don't take responsibility. Yeah, as I've said, I've told you that uh, we also blame the government. Some part of it we blame the government. Others, it is we ourselves. What is in happening in Nairobi? Pre be precise in Nairobi, it's not flat. Those are not flat. No, nothing like flo floating flo uh, flats are in Nairobi. No, it is our own mistake. We are the cause of this. Yes, it's just that uh, uh, we we'll, we build our structures closer to the to the water uh, drainage system a few coins with the the, the, the the big wings then we are allowed to build when it rains then the water is it nature water has its way out no matter what you have put there the water will still pass there so that's why we are experiencing that and uh, you can see for him also is washing the car there so it doesn't mean that uh, when it, uh, there's water here uh, it is somehow a relief for other people Yes, this is one example. I will go on showing more examples. This is just one of the examples. And I've told a very simple explanation. If it rains today for five hours, this water, the rainwater will go, will flood all of this, uh, this, uh, this way. Yes, it will, because there's no way out. Only the water will come in, so there's no way out. Yes. That is it. So uh, some parts of the Kenya, like the northern part of Kenya, I can, I can say that they are experiencing floods. And uh, this is something that has been there for ages, not that something that has started yesterday. It is something that has been there, and they have their leaders who have been representing them. We have leaders who are representing us. I'm not saying that in my area we don't have floods. They are there, but we are the cause. And with the cause, we are the first one to take a camera and start recording as we will amend everything to the government. The government, they, no, we are the cause. I am the cause. I will buy food, I will eat, then I will throw the, the, the bottle in the, in the drainage system. I'm the cause. I'm part of the, the effect that will come. But 
I'll be the first one and when it's raining, I will rush into the rain with my umbrella to come and record and show the world that our country is experiencing floods. That is the highest hypocrisy I have ever seen. Since the flood started, since the rain started, it is the highest hip hypocrisy I've seen all over the internet. And our fingers, all of us, we point at the government. We point at the ruling government right now. It's like the rain started yesterday. It has not been raining in Kenya since we were born. This is now the message we are passing to the world. We, the course, we are the one passing the same message to the world. The president, the world, they are eating money. They don't want to help people. They have money to medicate for this. They should know. Also, you know, have a space whereby in your video you will say that I am the cause of this because I, I ate, uh, I ate uh, mango, I threw the seed at the, uh, the, the drainage system. You did one, other people will do the same, 50 people, 100 people. When it rains, there's no way for water to go through, okay? Yes, we continue, we'll show more, still I'm still at the city cabanas. Just next to Kenya, to, you see how dry is that area? And you see this side, yes. That is how it is. Huh? I cannot walk through. This is water, water is there. And you see water is inside those, uh, those structures, illegally placed there. If they will ask to leave, they will start that, uh, yes, I know we, are, we don't have, people are unemployment, yes, that is correct. But when that one, su su such things happen, so you tell me, how are we supposed to, uh, to make the change? This is the, the state at City Cabana. And if it rains today for five hours, I'm telling you, this, this road will be full of water because the drainage system is closed. And the root cause is the street vendors, those people who are selling here. The street vendors are the main cause because when they sell the, 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 the kachara or the, the litter, they throw it to the drainage system. That's when it rains, the drainage system get blocked. Once it is blocked, there's no flow of water and we turn ourselves, we start blaming the government. To me, I'm not a, 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 a government spokesperson. I'm just a YouTuber and sometimes it is good to call a spade a spade, not a big spoon, yes. Yes, it is uh, very simple like that. Don't be the problem, don't be part of the problem and you'll be the first one now to start pointing fingers, no. Just be good. Follow the instruction. If you are not supposed to throw here a litter, don't do that. And for sure, we live in a very peaceful country. You see, this, I cannot report this one like flood. These are not flood. It's just that this was an open area and water, when it rains, water went there. I will never report this one as flood. What is happening on the thicker road? Thika Road was built long time ago and the drainage system was poorly done. So that when it rains, sure, you will have water will be stuck on the road. That one doesn't mean that it is wrong. That one doesn't uh, say that those are floods. No, my friends, let's avoid that hypocrisy we are carrying around. Anyone who has been reporting about the floods have been watching the videos. Yes, very good. I've been watching the videos and from the tone, how they speak, you will know that, you will see that they are pointing the finger towards the government. What has the government done? We are the cause. In Nairobi town, the CBD, we have built uh, this, uh, this vibanda on top of drainage system. So all of our waste products, we throw them in the drainage system. When it rains, water doesn't have a place to go. Then we blame the government. We should not. We should not be speaking like this. We should avoid this hypocrisy. It is the highest. And when the government goes on and says that we don't want to see people here, we are the first now to lament the government. No, you are not doing good. You should give us an alternative. There's no alternative. You need to, to shift from that area because you are the cause 
of the floods that are being experienced in that area where you are. As simple as that. If we change the way we think, for sure we'll have a very better country. Don't start the problem and you'll be the first one now to, to point fingers. It is very simple. It doesn't need a lot of thinking. Just you need to see what I'm doing. It will affect this thing in one way or the other. Once you know that, I'm telling you, you will never repeat even, even throwing, uh, uh, throwing uh, rubbish inside the drainage system. You will never repeat that. Parts of this country, we are experiencing floods. Yes, I'll say yes, we are. And it has been here from when we were still young up to now. It's just that then it was not being reported as the way it has been reported. Okay? I'm not safe where I'm staying also. We are all the same. We are the same human beings who are now contributing to this, to what is happening. So it is still not good where I am. But what you like? Should I now start pointing fingers toward the government? No, I will never do that. Yes, we'll continue airing out this until some people will understand what is the cause of what is happening.